What if Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 had been made by Wes Anderson? Known for his distinct visual style and quirky storytelling, it might feature the following plot. Title, The Stellar Misfits. The Stellar Misfits follows the eccentric group of intergalactic outcasts, the Guardians of the Galaxy, on a new adventure filled with whimsical encounters and emotional journeys. As they continue to navigate the cosmos, wow. they stumble upon a hidden, idyllic planet called Harmony 7. The planet's inhabitants, a peculiar race of harmonious beings, possess an artifact that holds the key to unlocking the universe's greatest secret. Determined to protect the artifact from falling into the wrong hands, the Guardians form an unexpected alliance with a mysterious band of misfits known as the Cosmic Oddities. Led by the enigmatic Vesper, the Cosmic Oddities possess a deep knowledge of the artifact's true power. As the Guardians and the Cosmic Oddities embark on their journey, they encounter a series of enchanting and surreal landscapes, ranging from a forest of rainbow-colored trees to a floating celestial carnival. Each location brings its own set of challenges and tests their relationships. Throughout the film, a parallel storyline explores the complex past of Rocket Raccoon, shedding light on his origins and the internal struggles he faces. This subplot delves into themes of identity, acceptance, and the profound impact of one's past on their present choices. Starring Star-Lord, played by Owen Wilson. I've been known to dance my way out of some pretty tight cosmic situations, you know? Gamora, played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Sometimes finding yourself means losing the parts of you that no longer fit. Drax the Destroyer, played by Adrian Brody. You call it revenge, I call it an art form. And I'm about to paint the cosmos red. Rocket Raccoon, voiced by Bill Murray. Life is full of surprises, and trust me, I've rigged most of them. Groot, voiced by Jason Schwartzman. I am Groot, the quiet observer of this chaotic symphony we call existence. Mantis, played by Tilda Swinton. The stars align for those who dare to see beyond what the eyes perceive. Nebula, played by Saoirse Ronan. I may be made of wires and metal, but even machines can dream of redemption. Vesper, played by Helen Mirren. The universe hides its secrets in plain sight, waiting for those audacious enough to see. The Stellar Misfits, directed by Wes Anderson, will lead to a unique and fascinating cinematic experience. This summer in all theaters. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and don't miss new premieres from other directors.